My Minutes of Culture Project, take one. Hi, I'm Liam. For my Five Minutes of Culture video, I am cooking a Somali dessert called Halwa. Halwa is one of the most popular Somali treats. It is a sweet dessert often served at weddings and religious celebrations. It is often synonymous with hospitality. It is made mostly of oil, butter, and sugar. The Arabic word halwa means sweet confection. Its exact origin is not known. Nearly every Middle Eastern culture claims it as its own. Some say it originated near Istanbul around the tw 12th century, while others believe it dates back all the way to 3000 BC, How Hawa eventually spread across the Middle East, the Mediterranean, Central Asia, and Africa. Now, let's get started. So the ingredients to the uh, Hawa are some cornstarch, two food colorings, orange and yellow, some spices to make it flavorful, nutmeg and cardamom, uh, butter stick, some water, some vegetable oil, some uh, white sugar, and some brown sugar. I'm going to put the butter into the pan so it melts. Once the butter is done and it starts to get foamy, you have to turn off the heat. Then you have to add one tablespoon of cardamom. Add a teaspoon of nutmeg. Then after that, you have to add a half cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to prepare the cornstarch mixture. And now I'm going to do a, a half cup of cornstarch. Then I'm going to put a half cup of water in that mixture. Then I'm going to do a little pinch of orange and yellow dye. I'm going to add a half cup of brown sugar now. Uh, two and a half cups of white sugar. to add three cups of water. When it comes to a boil, we, we put the cornstarch mixed in. Reduce the heat and then put the cover on for two to three minutes. Now we are going to add the butter and oil mixture one ladle at a time. Be cautious. While the hawa is cooling, I would like to give you some background knowledge on Somalia and its food. Somalia is located on the east coast of Africa along the Indian Ocean. It forms the cap of the Horn of Africa. Somalia once was a colony of England, France, and Italy, but has many ties to the Arab world and Asia. Somalia does not have a central government. The people are not are organized in groups called clans. In 1991, a civil war broke out among two clans that lasted for two years, eventually leaving many people starving. The Somalia diet varies from region to region, but it's influenced by the cuisine of Arabia, Asia, East Africa, Italy, and Turkey. The Somali diet tends to be low in calories and high in protein. Since most of the population is Muslim, the preparation and cooking methods they use follow the Muslim tradition. The Somalis, Somalis are also created in using what little resources they have. They eat a lot of chicken and rice dishes. They love spiced tea and drink a lot of sheep, goat, and camel milk. What the truth. <laughs> For the... Half cup of brown sugar. No, 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 that's in there. To the bowl.